What's up, man? 25 Gamers, welcome to today's video. I uh, hope you guys are excited about uh, some of the videos we put out yesterday. I thought that most of them were, went over pretty well. Uh, I hope a lot of people liked uh, some of the videos. But uh, anyways, guys, today we're going to hop into this uh, defense here, or excuse me, offense. And we're going to be talking about running. And uh, just because we're talking about running, I'm just going to come out in like a, like a nickel or a 4-6. Let's we'll just do 4-6 normal cover 3. Uh, but basically today we're talking about running. We're talking about our, our three-headed rush attack and the importance of it. And uh, what we like to do is we we already talked the other day about our base play being the shotgun bunch flipped. We like to flip the formation. So what we're going to do now is our running set is going to be the single back bunch, but we're going to flip the single back bunch. And uh, the play that we're going to be using as our run to the right is the end around. And if you take a look here, the end around is actually a really good run. You see it gets really nice blocking, and it works really well as an outside run to the right. And I haven't really talked much about this uh, this season just because we always assume that auto motion plays aren't that good. But for whatever reason this year, I mean, if you take a look here, look at how good this blocking is. I mean, this and we don't even have uh, Devin Hester in there. This is just Alshon Jeffrey, and you see that's a touchdown on the very second play of practice mode. So it's just a really good run. Uh, it's not something we're going to run all the time, but, it, it, you know, if the look provides itself, like right here, and we feel like we can seal that edge, uh, we're definitely going to run this. Um, so just be on the lookout for that being a good run. Um, next thing is we want to put the halfback slashes in our quick audible stock, and if they're spreading out like this and they're uh, base aligned and stuff like that and they're spreading everybody out to stop our outside running, well, then we can easily uh, run this inside. Now, what I want to talk about real quick is making everything look the same. So as you see in this end around, you see how it brings Alshon Jeffrey in motion just a little bit. Um, and so what we're going to try to do is mimic that motion every single time we run a play out of the single back bunch. So we're going to go down to uh, our halfback slash play. So we're going to motion him in two steps and then snap the ball because it looks exactly as if we were going to motion him for the end around. And uh, just little things like that can give you an advantage. And then the other, the only other play I want to show you here is the – they also have a play off of the end around as well with the halfbacks uh, – the halfback slash fake end around, which it's the same run, so you can use that if you want. You can put that in there if you don't like the regular slash. And then we have the quick pitch out of here, and so let's take a look here. So if they're in a situation like this where they're base aligned and they're watching the right run and they're watching the inside, well, then we're going to motion in the same motion, but now we're going to run that quick pitch and try to get outside with Matt Forte, uh, who's a pretty good running back in this year's game. I think he's one of the most underrated running backs. And when we break down their depth chart, we'll show you a couple of things about Matt Forte that makes him really effective. But uh, you see the quick pick, quick pitch is just something really quick here uh, that we can just uh, – just a simple outside run, quick, simple toss. It works really well to the bunch side, especially if – they start base aligning, and if they start base aligning, you know, then we have all sorts of other things off of it. But it all starts with the halfback slash, and then it progresses to the end around and the fake end around and the, the quick pitch. So be sure to look on, on the lookout for the single back bunch. I just wanted to break down a really easy to use run formation in Man 25, and I really like it a lot uh, because of the quick passing you can do from bunch formations as well, and also the easy progressions. For example. Uh, we like the shotgun bunch as our base play. So we come out on the shotgun bunch every time. And then say we want to get a look where we can run. We just check right down to the single back bunch. And the only thing that changes is we go under center. It's a very fast transition. And uh, we, we, you know, we pound the rock from our single back bunch. Um, as far as a quick pass that I like out of here, I like this play spacing. And what I like to do with this is use the same motion. So what I'm going to do uh, first is I'm going to take... Earl Bennett here and put him on a hitch route and I'm going to smart route it. Then I'm going to take Bartellus Bennett and I'm going to put him on an in route, just a regular in route. I'm going to take Brandon Marshall here. I'm going to put him on a smart routed in route. And then I'm going to take Matt Forte and I can put him on a wheel route like this or I can put him on a streak. But I like the wheel route or the block and release route. And we're going to motion Jeffrey in two steps, snap the ball. And you see we can kind of get See how we can get a little quick pass game going on with this. Um, didn't get a good example there. Let's see if we can get you a good example. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to uh, get across here with this little route to Jeffrey, but just kind of dump it out there. Just kind of leak it out there once he hitches up. Um, but basically, we want to continue to use the same motion even when we're passing because that's what a scheme is. We want to get the defense going one way and then go another way. So let's take a look here. You see how they sit in the zone. Now, one thing you just saw, what, what one thing we also might do here 
is we might put um, Earl uh, Earl Bennett on like a like a hitch route or an in route and put Martellus Bennett on the out route, smart routed out route. And the reason for that is because we could smart route his route, he won't get pressed. And then we could still keep Earl Bennett on that little hitch route. And now you see how the spacing is really effective. We can get that out route because those hitch routes will suck down the zone. So just a couple of little passing concepts that you can do here. Uh, I really like this play, PA pin deep. Um, and the goal here is to, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same hot routes on the inside, but now we're going to do that motion, and now we're going off play action, and actually Jared Allen got some pressure there. But basically, we're trying to hit them over the top uh, with a little combo of routes. So I like to hitch here, zig here, and then I like to do just a basic in route over here. I leave the play action uh, because it's right off, it's literally the smash run. And so you see now we just try to get in voice with the zones. So just a couple of little things that you can do off of that. Uh, not a whole lot of passing out of here uh, that I really I want to emphasize. But also real quickly, that route that we talked about yesterday, it still works on underneath, under center. And you see how it can do a good job at sitting and it can be a nice little quick pass as well. So a lot of things that we could, we could talk about the single back bunch for days, uh, but I do recommend it. And uh, I just want to say that you need to uh, be utilizing snap throws, be utilizing the quick stuff, but also be utilizing the powerful runs like this halfback slash. It's going to make this single back bunch formation a very powerful formation for your offense. If you found this video beneficial, if you could just let me know what I did well in the video and maybe something that I can improve on, I really appreciate your feedback. And uh, guys, I just look forward to engaging with you in the comments. And we'll get back to you a little bit on another Madden 25 tip. Thanks, guys.